Today, I am going to be sharing with you six things that you can do to help romanticize your life this June. Welcome back, everyone. I am so excited to be using some new equipment. I finally decided to learn how to use this microphone that I've had for a little while now. And sometimes when you just have to jump right into doing something, you need to just get rid of all the excuses that you have, like, oh, it'll be too hard or anything like that. And it was one of my goals this month to just jump in and do that. And so we're trying this out. I've already done some voiceovers with it, which I think work out great, but this is the first time that I have it a little bit further away from me, and I want to see if it works better than just the microphone on my camera. So a lot of you don't care about any of that, and that's fine, but hopefully there is a little bit of change from this point out. Now, if I'm going to be doing my regular, um, like the vlogs, especially if I'm holding the camera, I'm not going to be using this microphone, but this is just a little improvement that hopefully will help. So I have, as I said, six things that I am going to share with you that we can start adding to our days, our months, to help us romanticize our life. And romanticizing our life is just another way of saying that we're making the everyday beautiful. And this is my area of expertise, I would say, on my channel. This is my niche, so um, it's just appropriate. And I have a list of other videos that you can watch in the How to Romanticize Your Life series, starting with January. So if you are interested, I will link that in the description box below. So let's get into the first thing that I would say we can do to romanticize our life this month, and that is to pay attention to your lighting in the evening. This is an area that I really pay attention to all year long. Um, lighting is everything in the home, I feel. And this was really important to me, especially in the kitchen when we did our Ikea kitchen renovation. I really loved the way that the lighting was in the showroom with the kitchen that I had. And so that was something that I did not want to skimp on. And to this day, I'm very happy with that. It's a space that I like to walk through, especially in the evening because it's dimly lit, but all the areas that are necessary to be lit are lit. And then especially with the drawers and everything, I wanted I wanted to have light up drawers and stuff, but um, that just made that kind of kitchen more appealing to me. But that's not what this is about. What I mean by lighting is before it gets dark in the evening, pay attention to turning on the lamps before, you know, it gets before the sun sets. That's to me is the best time. It's like when you're winding down for the evening, not completely winding down, but just when things start to relax and then you're not worried about doing that as once there is no light. It's just something that's gradual. And it kind of helps you to think, okay, evening is coming and everything just, it really just sets the tone. It sets the tone for the home. I also love to have music playing. So when, when I start thinking about that, I want my music going. I also want the lighting to be just right. Nothing too bright. We have dimmable lights pretty much everywhere. That is one of the things that I'm very thankful that my husband pays attention to because I love it so much. And you can do that with just any any kind of light. So your table lamps, you can put in dimmable bulbs, and there are just all these different things that you can get now to make sure that you have that. And I always have my lamps in my bedroom dimmed. And then I also have sconces on the wall that I love to have dimmed as well. And then the um, chandelier that's in my dressing room, that is also dimmable. So pretty much everywhere in the house I like to have dimmable bulbs, that way I can enjoy mood lighting. And another thing that you can do, especially if you don't want to use lamps, you can also start to light your candles before 
before the sun starts to set so you can enjoy that as the evening progresses. And before I forget, one more thing that you can do, especially if you're going to be outside in the evening, is to plug in your string lights if you have those outside. I always think that that's just a wonderful atmosphere to have outside. It kind of encourages you to be outside a little bit more as well. So that's something that you can focus on outdoors. Moving on to the second recommendation I would have would be to try out a few new updos. I know that when you think of like romance and maybe romance novels or just the way that women would do their hair, you think of long flowing locks, but I would I would have to say in my opinion it's more of the updo has a much more romantic feel to it and not something that is too done up but more of like loose curls maybe some wispy hair hanging down something like that and kind of how I have my hairstyle today I always get many more compliments when I put my hair up than if I were to wear it down and maybe that's just me and the way that my hair looks on me but I know that I recognize this in other women and you know young ladies when they do their hair as well. It just always has a much more romantic look to it when you wear your hair up in some kind of way. And like I said, not overdoing it, but just that something that is loosely styled, I think really looks beautiful and romantic. So dedicate a little bit of time to just trying a few new things for me, if I'm going to do my hair in an updo, I really need to have it curled. That way I have something for it to grab onto because I do have very thin, fine hair. And so when I curl my hair, this has been done with um, my my hot rollers. And I have I am just in love with hot rollers. They are so easy to do and the curl lasts all day. My hair just looks, even when I have it down, I feel that it looks so much better even than when I was doing pin curls. I, I feel right now at least I'm done with the pin curls because I felt like I just couldn't get it right all the time. But Every single time that I've done my hair with hot rollers, it has turned out great. It's so much better than a curling iron for me and for my hair type. So um, anyway, having something for my hair to grab onto when I do an updo, I just think every time that I curl my hair and put it up, it it doesn't matter what I do. It just, it pretty much looks nice that way. The third thing that I would recommend we do for this month and going into the months to come is to have a little drink station. And you can, I mean, you've seen those water bottles where it's like drink this much and that much and that much. And you're trying to get your daily water intake. So you may fill up this whole, you know, this whole gallon or whatever it is of this plastic container. But I mean, who wants to carry that kind of thing around? So I would encourage you to fill up a pitcher, especially a glass pitcher of water, and maybe you can add some fruit to it if you like to infuse your water, but just setting it up and then having some beautiful glasses around it will not only encourage you, but if you have other people within your home, it will encourage them to drink their water as well. But this is a great way, especially if it's just for you, for you to see how much water you're drinking and just being able to have a visual of how much you're trying to take in every single day. And it just also encourages you to drink your water and in a beautiful way romantic way. The fourth suggestion I have to romanticize our life this month is to enjoy some stargazing. So I had recently moved some of our patio furniture out to the middle of the yard and they are lounge chairs that we could just sit lay down and look up at the stars. And this is not something that you would just have to do alone. You could do this with somebody. It's a great time to just enjoy, you know, no electronics, just being outside and enjoying God's creation. And especially in the summertime, I think that this is a wonderful thing to do because it's a lot cooler in the evening, but still you can be outside and enjoy that time. My fifth suggestion this month, which is probably the one that I am most excited about, is to refresh your wardrobe for the summer months. 
and by that I mean to update whatever fabrics, maybe you have things stored away, you can start putting away those items that are a little bit more spring geared and I've just been doing that recently. Some of those colors that I would wear more in the springtime I've now put away and then I have just been curating a collection with easy breezy items the fabrics that really flow nicely in the wind and that especially with the heat that they are much better suited for that this dress right here i have in my dress shop if you are interested in it and i also have it in a beautiful dusty rose color as well so i am going to be linking that in the description box below but just finding you know fine tuning your wardrobe for these months i think is great because every time you open up your wardrobe it will be items that you will feel like wearing those crisp whites and blues especially I love white and blue in the summertime um, those are great and just like I said update your wardrobe so that whenever you walk into that space you know that everything fits you it's something that you love and it's definitely appropriate for this time of year my sixth and final suggestion for this month of June is to focus on sweet scents or just really the sense around you. So maybe that is a room refresh spray. I love this one by Febreze. It's in the bamboo scent. I think that that is my ultimate favorite scent when it comes to something that you would spray in the room because it's so light and fresh smelling, whereas a lot of the other ones can just be overwhelming to me. I'm very particular when it comes to scents. And this is something that you can do with candles as well, finding a really good scent for the summertime. And let's not forget about that. We often think about doing that in the winter time, but let's think about the way that we have our space smelling for the summertime as well. So that is all that I have for you when it comes to romanticizing our life this month. Please let me know in the comments below what, what suggestions are you most excited about, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye everyone. This video was brought to you by our patrons and all those who've purchased from the Inspired by Nikki store. Thank you. I'm grateful for all of my returning subscribers. Your continued support and kind words are an inspiration to me. I want to welcome you if you are new and invite you to subscribe to be inspired daily to make the everyday beautiful.